everyone and welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, we're going to take a look at just a killer 1972 Chevrolet C10 short box pickup. Nice little truck, guys. I actually sold this truck four years ago. Uh, shipped it to a guy in California. He actually just traded it back in. Uh, great little truck. I kind of dug back into my old notes on the truck. Um, it's, uh, well, it's, you know, he bought it four years ago, so it's about a, I'm going to say it's about a 12-year-old restoration. I bought it from a guy to Alabama. Truck spent its whole life in the South. Matter of fact, there is a, uh, the build sheet for this truck is in the glove box. And uh, you can see it was delivered new to, I believe it was Savannah, Georgia. Uh, so it spent its whole life in the tr uh, South. Good, solid, straight, short box Chevy. Good truck. Um, it's finished in GM bright white. It's got the houndstooth interior. You can see they got a set of 20-inch uh, boss wheels all the way around it. Uh, truck's just got a good, clean look. Runs and drives real good. Uh, it's got air. Air blows cold. Um, you know, just a really clean, straight old Chevy short box, guys. Uh, a few little things you can nitpick. I'll try to point them out. I believe this trim is original. There's a couple little marks I saw on it. Um couple little marks I've seen in the paint as well they definitely replaced the bumpers it looks like he put just over a thousand miles on the truck since he's had it which would put this truck at about 8,500 miles uh, since it's been restored You can see they tinted the glass. Like I say, truck hits the road real good. They put that Rhino liner uh, on the bed liner. You can kind of nitpick. You can see there's a couple little spots where it's kind of pulled up. But uh, it's nice if you do want to set stuff in the bed. Um, it definitely makes it more usable. Sorry guys, that's just little water drops. It's actually spitting little rain as it uh, right now on us. It's just one of those days where Mother Nature can't uh, make up its mind. Good straight truck. It's got pretty good sized rubber on those 20s all the way around, so it sits good. Again, they replace that rear bumper. I know they put new floorboards in the truck. Uh, Body-wise, I think that's it. Got the gray centered boss wheels. just got a real clean look it's not the matching numbers engine um, it is a 71 350 block in there stock two barrel stock intake stock ram sword exhaust manifolds power steering power front disc brakes uh, does have air again the air blows cold 350 turbo hydromatic trans marks there on the door stock mirrors you definitely replace those door handles big fan of the uh, houndstooth interior 
Always like that in the trucks. You can see they put new carpet, new sill plates. Um, he uh, uh, definitely refoamed the seat. It's real comfortable. Like I say, the truck goes down the road real good. Sports steering wheel, factory tack engaged truck. 31,673 on your odometer. Like I say, it's about 8,500 miles on this truck. All the gauges are working except for the factory tack. I'll try to have Steve take a peek at it. Be honest with you, a lot of times when the tacks go or, you know, uh, we, you know, you just got to replace them. Uh, it's got one of those audio sounds, AM, FM radios. I couldn't get it to come on, but heck, I don't even know if I know how to turn them on. I put the new um, um, mats in it. It's uh, dual exhaust. That was another thing I was gonna. I, was, I thought about doing. It's got. Uh, it's it's pretty quiet. I thought about putting some Flowmasters, but I just kind of left it alone just in case somebody likes the, the you know the stock muff, muffler sound. I just thought about adding a little you know muscle sound to it. It's a 12 bolt stock 323 rear end, so it's definitely something you get on the highway and cruise. It's just got a little little rub marks on there. Like I say, truck's clean underneath. They did put new floors in it. Yeah, I like this interior. Seat's real nice. Like I say, they've repadded and foamed it. They're like say the um, factory padded dash too. They uh, built the uh, build sheet and the original protecto plates in there. It's got the dual mirrors. Truck just hits the road good. This runs out good. Should just have to flip the switch down for the AC, Jordy. There it goes. Jordy just kicks your AC on. Like I say, it blows cold. That kicks the road real good. It's pretty quiet. Like I say, real tame. That was the only thing I didn't... Uh, all your gauges do work. No on the tack. I couldn't get the radio to come on either. Holding good oil pressure. It's got a vacuum gauge. It works. Fuel gauge works. Like I say, it's pretty quiet back here. No, that brake light works. I bet you it bulbs a little loose or something. Backup lights work. Like I say, if you if you're not hip on the quiet sound. Um, I do the we got a muffler shop down the road that does a great job for us. I think it's 550 uh, for uh, Flowmaster duels. Blower motor works again. I couldn't get the radio on. It's one of those um, audio sounds. There is a manual for it in the glove box too. So maybe I'm just doing something wrong. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. I knew that brake light worked. That's just a good, clean looking truck right there.
lot of traffic.